anyone who knows Georgiana knows how long she has waited for this day. Somehow when Georgiana met Gary, I knew she would be okay and we wouldn't have to worry as much. You've changed her for the better and you always seem to bring out the best in her. Instead of moving to Mississippi, she chose to stay here and she chose him. I'm so happy that today I get to see the both of you choose each other once again. Gary is the kind of person that wants to avoid an uncomfortable situation more than anything in the world. And I can't think of a more extreme example of something that would make Gary extremely uncomfortable than an event with 170 people where his brother gets to come up and give a speech that he has not pre-approved. <laughs> Regardless of the time it took to convince you to be my friend, then becoming best friends, then becoming us. Uh, the point of this statement is that I vow to never give up on you, to always keep pursuing you. I vow to never forget about you, and I will always do my best to put you first in all my decisions. Since the moment we became friends, I have made the vow to choose you every day, whether it be during times of conflict and strife, or happiness and constant laughter. I will continue to choose you even when you pick on me, make sarcastic jokes, or scrape your teeth <laughs> to your fork. <laughs> I choose you to share my life and being with, and it is that constant choice I have made for seven years that I vow to make for the rest of our lives. This is a choice we make. You are not the one because you always know what to say or how to calm me down or make me happy. You are the one because you challenge me to be a better person every day and push me to succeed always. Instead of being my courage, you help me find it within myself. Instead of being my strength, you help me accentuate the strength I already possessed. Instead of being my powerful leader, which you are, you guided me to find my own leadership. I value you to always guide you in the right direction, to love you always and unconditionally, to respect you, and above all else, to make sure I'm not just yelling at you because I'm <laughs> I hate it that I'm a millennial and wrote it on my phone and I was like, I'll print it out. 
and then I didn't. <laughs> um, I think it's a good thing I went second. Um, those of you who know us know that um, sometimes my follow through with things is not the greatest. So I have some vows that I'm going to explain. Um, but I wanted to write really realistic vows because um, I know you more than anyone um, know that these are the vows that I'm going to be able to keep. So I promise that sometimes we're going to let each other down. I promise that sometimes we're going to hurt each other. I promise that sometimes we won't complete each other. I promise that sometimes we're going to fight and we're going to disagree and that our marriage will be painful and it'll be challenging sometimes. Um, but most importantly, I want to promise you that all those things are okay. Um, I was thinking about what it took for me to get here. And I think this is the thing that I have been thinking a lot about. So I realized that this commitment that we're making today um, isn't a promise that someday we're going to arrive and be this perfect married couple. Um, and I think actually it's exactly the opposite of that. It's a recognition that we're always um, going to be and have always been a little imperfect and that that's okay. Um, that we will always be striving for a better relationship and that's okay. Um, and that um, the perfect relationship is actually impossible. But the fact that the perfect relationship is impossible, I think, is why I'm here today and I want to marry you. Um, because if either of us were perfect, there would be no need for me to make any promises to you, because I would just keep them anyway. <laughs> but I'm far from perfect, so I'm making a list. <laughs> but the thing I think I realized is that today I am not committing to our completeness, though of course I am. I'm committing to all the ways that we still lack in our relationship and all the ways that we're still broken. Um, so today I promise to you and I vow to you that um, I may never arrive at the perfect partner and that we may never arrive at the perfect marriage, um, but I vow that for the rest of my life I'm going to be striving to get closer with you. And I want to remind you that this is just one more step along this path we started more than seven years ago, but dating for seven years. And um, I promise to keep learning to love you better and better every day for the rest of my life. And I love you more than anything. Don't make me cry. I, Gary, take you, Georgiana, to be my wife. I, Gary, take you, Georgiana, to be my wife. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Alright, now Georgiana, you can repeat after. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just lose it, so you can just go. <laughs> I, Georgiana, take you, Gary, to be my husband. I, Georgiana, take you, Gary, to be my husband. And I promise before God and these witnesses. And I promise before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful. To be a loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. <laughs> and so, Georgiana, I give you this ring. Georgiana, I give you this ring. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. All right, now George, you can see us. Okay. Gary, I give you this ring. Gary, I give you this ring. As a sign of our constant faith. As a sign of our constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Therefore I proclaim that they are now husband and wife. Blessed be the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. I invite you to share your first kiss as husband and wife. Now I'm
present to you all, Gary and Georgiana Guth. This part is called the awkward introduction. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gary. I'm delighted to meet you. I like to play guitar, and I think I like you too. At least that's what she had wanted to hear. Instead, this is what Gary said. Uh, hi. <laughs> as they say is history and here we are on the cute oven's wedding today and people say that love is a mystery but their love's real as it comes i'd say <laughs> yeah! i love you guys hearts are with you everywhere you go. I love you guys very much. I wish you the best. And I am so excited that Gary gets to be my brother. So good luck to you guys. I love both of you.
I can't think of anything or anyone that Gary is more passionate about than Georgie. And there's nothing in this world that makes Gary more comfortable than her.